All right, Coach, if you could start by breaking down the, the women's field in your team and how you feel their chances are this year. Uh, well, we've come a long way in the five years that I've been here. We've, uh, uh, we're, we're, they, they speak about one of us being in the, uh, the USC being in the top three or four this year's NC Toy Championship. So we've come a long way from being lower ranked 20s uh, about three, four years ago. We've had a steady progress in our program. Uh, the women have really bought into what our what our goals are. If we have a perfect meet and Georgia, Cal, Stanford kind of goof up a little bit, uh, I think we can position ourselves to possibly even win the meet. We haven't won the NC Toy Championship on the women's side since 1997. Uh, we've got uh, we've got some studs. We've got some women that can win events. Katinka Hoshu is is set up really well to win the 200 IM, the 400 IM, the 200 fly. Um, uh, Lindsay DePaul's uh, ranked as the number one hundred butterfly in the country right now. Haley Anderson's the number one uh, miler in the country right now. Uh, I think if we come away with uh, six wins, that would be pretty awesome. Even if we were maybe only able to finish in the top four, uh, but we've got uh, uh, you know, we, we expect good things out of the, the swimmers. Um, we're not quite as strong as a Cal and Stanford in some of the sprint relays, uh, but we've got the individuals that can really make a big difference. And then on top of that, we got Tori Ishimatsu. Uh, she, we just found out today that she made the NCAA championship. She won the zone championship uh, competition. She was a little under weather being sick, but uh, she's going to be a real competitor and will help us uh, tremendously at the NCAA meet. You mentioned Katinka, she is the top seed in, th in three events. You've seen a lot of great swimmers, uh, how special is she? Well, she's come into USC from Hungary, not knowing the language at all, not knowing my style of coaching, and almost immediately bought into what we were doing. Uh, it's, I think as a result of that, she was the world champion in 2009, and uh, I think she's going to be internationally, she's going to be one of the players in the 400 IM at the Olympic Games in 2012. Um, but uh, I, she's there. She's she's uh, easily the, the top swimmer in the 200 IM, as I said, 400 IM and the 200 fly. 200 fly, a little tougher event because it's the last day of the meet. Uh, but I think she's prepared and ready to. to uh, I think she can win. I think she can win three events. I don't know the last time that we won three events. I know back in 97 when Christine Quantz was the leader of the women's team. Uh, I think she won a couple of events. Lindsay Mentenko, or Lindsay Banco at the time, uh, she won the 200 backstroke, I think, back then. Uh, but it, if we can come away with four or five individual wins, that's huge for USC. And it really, I think, sets the tone for where we're going to be over the next 10 years. And finally, you, you mentioned your new rule, your new role as favorites. How are the women handling those expectations, not being the underdog? Um, that's uh, that's been a little tough. Um, and I've had to try to kind of kind of calm them down and just say, look, let the meat come to you. Don't try to force anything at the meat. Just have fun, enjoy it. Uh, we've come a, a a long way, and they should be really proud of that. And just not force the meat. And we're still not we're not the number one team. Um, one of the blogs predict us to be number three, and that's that's a good place to be. If, if we, our goal is to be a top five team every year, with a chance to, to get in there and win once in a while. This might be that year, and we'll see how that we do. Thank you, Coach. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.